What's up guys? This is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video. So I picked up another Invicta watch. Pretty excited about it. You guys know if you watch my channel, I pick these up once or twice a year. So what did I get this time? Let's get into the unboxing and see what I picked up. What's up guys? This is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video. And today it's another Invicta watch. So you guys know if you follow my channel or you're subscribed to my channel that maybe once or twice a year I pick up new Invicta watches. Invicta watches, I was introduced to these several years back and I come to love the look and style of these watches. They're very inexpensive. I'm not saying that they're the best time pieces in the world. It's just I like this brand. I like the big watches and I like their style that they have. So I am no watch expert. This is just an unboxing of a, a watch that I like. So that's what that's how we get here. So the Invicta DC comic watches came out a, a little while back. And as a kid growing up, uh, I was always into Marvel and DC comics. Uh, about a year or so ago, I picked up the Black Panther edition watch. And this time around, when I made that unboxing, I said I wanted to get pick a few more watches out. And this time around, I got the DC Comics Batman. So Batman was one of my favorite characters coming up. And I caught this watch. Right now, they have it for $139. When I picked it up, it was uh, $68. So this is the Invicta DC Comics Men's 55 millimeter uh, Pro Diver Scuba LT edition, LTD edition quartz silicone strap watch. And they have it for $139. Like I said, when I picked it up, it was only $68. So this is it. You can also get this and Superman as well. When the price drops down again, I'm gonna pick this up, but uh, being Batman is probably one of my favorites. This is the first one I got. So let's get into this box and then we'll get into some of the specs on it. Okay guys, so here's the uh, total that I paid, uh, $84.29 all together. It was $68.73 plus tax. Uh, I picked this up at Shop HQ. So I will drop that link in the description if you guys wanna pick this up. So let's let's get into this box and I'm pretty excited about picking this up, man, because uh, like I said, as a kid, uh, we we didn't have a lot. So we had comic books and, and we we liked our uh, our characters in there. And uh, so you get your paperwork here and here is the box. Let's see if I can get this out of here. All right, so they give you this black box here. This is uh, pretty nice, got Invicta on it. Uh, nothing else on here. So let's get into this. Woo, so here it is. So they have the little flap that you can drop down and there it is, DC. So let's get this box out of a box and see what we got here, guys. So. Like I said, I am pretty excited. So here's the Invicta limited edition. There was only 4,000 of these, so I should have a number stopped on mine. So you got the DC Comics uh, box here with the logo, and you got some of the characters on the box, as you guys can see. So let's go around the box. And on the box, it says TNT and DC Comics. And there is a, a stamp right here. But let's get into the box. So the big reveal. Now, when I ordered this, I looked at the picture and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be happy with the look of it. So I'm kinda excited here. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here we are. Whoa, so first, initial impressions. I am very, uh, I like it. So here's the inside of the box. You guys can see uh, DC Comics and Victor. You can get your paperwork here. You get a little uh, limited warranty instructions guide right there. And they also give us a microfiber cleaning cloth with Invicta on it. And that's all in the box, guys. So here's the watch. 
uh, we get some of this poison for the trolls, as it was <laughs> called out by a famous YouTuber. And here's the watch, man. So let's see. Let's get that closed down and see what this is like. I'm feeling it already, man. It is a big, huge watch. And I love the big watches. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that glare out. So here it is, man. Wow. Has a nice weight to it. And that is, that is actually, wow, it's very detailed. See if I can get in on this. Very detailed cutouts. And there's your Batman logo there. And uh, just has a good weight to it, man. So let me read off some of the specs. Uh, some of the specs on this. This has the movement on this is TMI PC21AF Quartz. Uh, the movement company of origin, Japan. This is a 50 millimeter cross watch there. It's 17 millimeters thick. Uh, it has a stainless steel uh, casing. The bezel is fixed, so it doesn't rotate. Uh, this is a flame fusion crystal. The uh, uh, dial material is alloy. You have a crown, which is a uh, push-pull. You have a silicone strap that feels very good in the hand so far. Uh, this The strap measures nine and three quarters length by 24 millimeters wet wide. Uh, the clasp is a buckle type, and as you guys can see, has that polished look on it. The maximum wrist size is eight inches. Water resistant, 100 meters, 330 feet. It weighs 6.9 ounces, and that is it. So that those are some of the specs on it. Let me go ahead and get this plastic off of it if there is any. Yeah, so you got a little bit here, but I am very impressed by this uh, to say that it's only $68, man. I wasn't expecting uh, to really like this as much as I do so far. First impressions is this is very nice. So let's get this. tape off it here. All right, so let's go around and take a closer look at it, man. So here is the watch. And as you can see, the, the Batman logo on the center of the dial. You can see that it has a little bit of Invic Invicta branding up here. Now what I do notice, I'm gonna go ahead and push that in. If it gets around, I want to see if I can point this out to you guys. The second hand has the Batman logo on the end of it there. And I want to see if I can get close enough where you guys can see this. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but the second hand has the shape on the end of it, not, the, not this end has the Batman logo shaped to it right there. So that is very nice. Now the gold and black combination here is very nice, man. It's, it's subtle, it's not very, uh, it's not very loud, I'll say. And the silicone strap feels very soft. And uh, here's the clasp, clasp of it, has the Invicta logo there. And then on the back of it, here's the back. So I have limited edition, I have 146 out of 4,000. So that is my number out of 4,000 right there. And this is just a, a beautiful piece. So you can see you have your gold color on your class right there. And uh, you got a little Invicta branded on this side, which is nice. And then you have your gold accents on the side and on your band. With this, this is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Uh, it's 50 millimeters, so it's a big, huge watch here. And uh, that's what I like, so let me try it on my arm. All right, so there it is, guys. 
So I would say this is a win. It is huge. Now, if you don't like big watches, then this may not be the one for you, but I love big watches. And as you guys can see, this is this uh, exceeds my expectations, man. This I didn't think it was going to be this detailed and this quality feeling. I do like the, the material that it, it feels substantial on your arm. It feels big and uh, you just know it's there. And I think this is going to be one when I wear it out, it's going to get a lot of attention. And it just, this is gorgeous, man. But uh, yeah, man, so this is the unboxing of the DC Comics Batman edition. Try to get close in on there, guys, so you can guys can see just how uh, gorgeous this is. And this has the yellow accented numbers here. And uh, just beautiful, man. I like the, the uh, Batman logo in the center. Makes it stand out, so. All right, guys, catch you guys in the next video. Will H, and I'm out.